decoration was ready. This simple pretty looking rangoli was also ready. The only thing that was missing this Diwali was some sort of sweet. So I googled up some recipes and found this sweet that I tried which I'll be showing in this video. So stay tuned. Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. I am not a professional chef. I'm just 20 something millennial who just learned this recipe and sharing. So I hope you find this video fun and relatable. For this Indian sweet, we hardly need any ingredients. We just need four ingredients. Paneer, sugar, water, cardamom, rose water. That is totally optional. So first step is to cut that paneer into cube like pieces. I'll just fast forward this whole process. After we are done with cutting paneer pieces, just switch on the gas. Put a deep vessel like this with some water and add sugar to it. We need one tar chashni. Then crush 2-3 to three cardamoms, crush them, crush them, crush them, crush them. <laughs> After we are done crushing, just add that cardamoms to this sugar water. And then all we have to do is mix it, <laughs> mix it. Do not hog on paneer like I did <laughs> because this process can take some time, but for 10-15 to 15 minutes till we get something like this consistency after you see consistency like this add your paneer pieces add some rose water and then mix it mix it mix it Now after 5 minutes we'll just switch off the gas and we'll continue with mixing till the sugar solidifies like this and our spatula looks like this. And here our chena murgi is ready. This sweet dish tastes better when it is soft cold so do give it a try. My name is Bhavna Jha. I make videos on life, architecture and career. So if any of the three things interest you, do consider subscribing. I'll see you next week with a new video. Thank you. Bye-bye.